Well, as time ticks by, investigating cold cases can definitely get more difficult. Evidence is lost, suspects pass away. But a family's search for truth never stops. Our Katie Jeffries takes us to Alachua County with a case that is nearly 50 years old. Here's tonight's Unsolved. Pearl Bartley was born just before the turn of the century in 1897. She lived to be 72 years old before she was brutally murdered inside of a store in Alachua County. Her case is one that investigators have circled back to for decades. But now that we're reaching 50 years of her case being cold, investigators are still trying to give her surviving family answers. <music> When Marcy Buchanan thinks of her grandmother, Pearl Bartley, she hears the notes of the Missouri Waltz. Pearl would play it on the piano every night in her home, attached to the corner store known as Pearl's Place in Micanopy, Florida, along US 441. Marcy thinks of how Pearl taught her to crochet and tend a garden. She was a very gentle, caring, docile person. She would have given anybody anything, and it just really shocked her family that she was murdered like that. It was October 27, 1969. A couple stopped at Pearl's place around 6 that evening and found a gruesome scene inside. Pearl had been strangled to death. Cold case homicide investigator Kevin Allen with the Alachua County Sheriff's Office says deputies set up roadblocks and canvassed the area, and they heard one thing over and over again. And that was that there was a blue or black motorcycle that many witnesses saw at the scene at or around the time of the homicide. For a small rural town, no one recognized the motorcycle or the man on it. Described as a white male, around 5'10", stocky, but with a helmet covering his face. The case would go cold for decades, until the 1980s with the arrest of Carlton Gary, a convicted serial killer known as the Stalking Strangler. His victim type, elderly females. Investigator Allen says in 1969, Carlton Gary was a resident of Gainesville, just around 12 miles from Micanopy and Pearl's store. Allen went to talk to Carlton Gary about Pearl's case as he sat on death row. He made admissions to almost every crime he'd ever committed, including uh, robberies and burglaries, but he said he was not involved with any sexual murders of elderly white females in Florida or the state of Georgia. We did ask if Pearl had been sexually assaulted, and investigator Allen declined to comment on that. Carlton Gary was put to death by lethal injection in 2018, but Allen wasn't done looking for answers. He contacted the FBI to use its next generation identification fingerprint technology, which takes fingerprint photos from cold cases and enhances them to be run through a database. So what I asked the FBI to do was to take the latent lifts that we had taken from the Pearl Bartley crime scene and compare against Carlton Gary and his accomplices. And that came back negative, but it came back with a hit on another individual. That individual was a man named Austin Felker. His fingerprints were found on the Coca-Cola cooler across from Pearl's body. In 1969, he told family he was going to Florida and was the new owner of a blue and black motorcycle. So we can't say for certain whether Austin Felker was a killer or simply a customer. Felker has since died, but Allen says in investigating Felker, he found him to be a hustler and a con artist, but there was no violence in Felker's record. So with both potential suspects deceased and the original evidence gone, the question remains, who did it? It's an answer Pearl's son, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren all want to know. If we had access to the person who did it, we would have just said, why did you do it? She was a very gentle person. You didn't have to murder her. She would have given you anything. Now Pearl lives on through family memories. Their pioneer woman, known for her kindness, and the notes of the Missouri Waltz. Katie Jeffries with photographer Jeff Renfro for First Coast News on your side. And if you know anything about the robbery and murder of Pearl Bartley in 1969, contact the Alachua County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers.